Hey guys, it's Game Production here, and today we are going to be showing you how to get custom sound effects and ringtones on your Discord. So, um, an example would be like this. If I mute my microphone here. Microphone muted. That sound plays. No editing. This is from Discord itself. You can make when you do a call, when you get a call you switch a channel there's a bunch of possibilities in this scenario so today we are going to be showing over how to enable this so what you want to do is go to the link in the description and you'll see this so click on bandage bd with the windows.exe bandage bd stands for bandage better discord because as you know if you go to better discord This used to be the main site, but oh, one second, DD. you don't have to go on the site. I'm showing you for an, a reference. You don't have to come on here, but no longer maintained. So you would have to come to the link in the description like this. So let's click this, and then you want to click the, this, and then click yes. And then click on the new button. Now you just want to click agree. Install. And then click install to stable. As you can see here, install. In case you think it's because you don't have a Discord Canary or a Discord PPV, well, you're wrong. So make sure you click install stable, not any of these. No, you can't because you don't have any of these. Unless you do, insert it right through here. So, uh, additional options. Make sure restart all Discord instances is checked. So, this might, if you're in a call or something, this is going to X out Discord completely. So, just say you'll be right back to, or something to your whoever you're calling. Or if you're not calling, great. Good for you. Okay, but since I already have installed, I'm just going to click cancel. And then right after you click install, and it installs, it closes Discord, then gets it back up running. So once you open back Discord, you want to click user settings, and then you want to go all the way down here, and then you'll see better Discord. So there's streams, plugins, custom CSS, emotes. So custom CSS is used to design backgrounds. If, and themes... If you open themes folder, you could insert CSS files, which are for like the background of your Discord, the customization to how your Discord looks. So, oh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, you could have multiple CSS folders and enable one when you need it. So, but we're not going over that today. Comment down below if you want me to go over custom CSS and themes in another tutorial. Comment down below. But today we're going to be focusing on plugins. So I already have these installed, so you'll have nothing here. So you want to click open plugins folder. I already have mine open here. And you have no files. So you need a, uh, So before you create a file, you need to click view. And make sure file name extensions is checked. If it's not checked, this won't work. Then you want to create new text document. And then delete everything, even dot text. And name it notification sounds dot plugin dot js. All you want to do, and then you just want to click enter. It might say this file type is unstable and maybe unusable, but just click yes. So we're going to delete that since it's here. Don't worry about these up there's file for now. Don't worry about these files for now. So once you have it, um, you want to right click your folder that you created and click edit. So it might say this, but all you need to do is click open. So as you see, I have all of this. 
and I'll show you how to get this. Okay, so you want to go to your web browser and get this link in the description. And then if you click on this, you click on the X, not control A. You just have to copy the whole text. But if you don't want to copy the whole text, since you can't use control A due to the other text that will copy also, you could, if you go to your notepad, no, not notepad, XSL, if you go to your plugins folder, delete your notification sounds.plugin.js. I know it sounds weird, but just delete it. And then click download plugin. DDoS, DDoS production by Cloudflare might show up. And it says this type of file can harm your computer, but click keep. It will not harm your computer at all. So after you click keep, you see it here. And this has all the code inside it already. So what you can do is since, so you deleted everything, there's nothing in yours. And then you just drag this, hover over your folder, plugins, and then just drag it and then it'll make a new folder having containing exactly this. So once you drag that to here, you're good to go. So you want to X that out. You could X these out too and go to discord so if you go to plugins you will see notification sounds by devil bro so what you need to do is on the bottom right of your taskbar click this little arrow to show arrow to show hidden icons and then uh, where is this one second? Yeah, click on this. Can't find Discord for some reason. Okay, for some reason, my logo is glitched out. It's a circle, but for yours, this will show the Discord logo. So you want to right-click on the Discord logo. For me, it's different. And then you want to click Quit Discord. If you just click the X here, that will not work. It doesn't functionally uh, kill Discord. So you just want to click quit Discord. And just wait a second. And then open back Discord. Oh yeah, also, you will also notice uh, one Discord have okay, one second. I you will also notice you have this public button. So if you click it, it shows you public servers. Like there are some of these I've joined, but there's Among Us, Rocket League, Path of Exile, GTA Online, Battery Discord, etc. So now when you first open Discord, you're gonna notice that it says like something something download now you might be confused why that didn't happen to me because i already did it what you want to click is download now and then go to your settings click plugins and default these would be like this what you want to do is grab both of them and just check and check so now on to how to add sounds. So if you DDFDD uh, just helps Discord. notification sounds. So if you click settings, nothing there. You, you can do this, but I don't, it's not really necessary. So I'll just click X for now and click settings and then click add new sound category name name it whatever you want i'll just name one test and then sound name test sound and source you could type in a source if you have one luckily i do have one but for this tutorial i'm just going to click browse file and then if i click discord call and then i click save 
now implemented sound, you have these everything where you can customize the sound of. So if you wanted to do, let's see, if voice chat mute, it also comes with default one. The other ones I added, the only ones I didn't add were default and Discord. Default is just a default one. It doesn't play any sound. And now Discord is what better Discord has launched up for you. They have a Discoda sound. Discoda. And then they have like a incoming call. They have like an incoming call Halloween. that's going to be used for uh, voice chat mute. So what I have is sounds. Now I just have mic muted. That sounds like this. Microphone muted. Also, I, or incoming call, right here. Uh, I actually implemented my own sound in the category of incoming call called Discord Remix. And if we listen to that, this is how it sounds like. So I implemented that on my own. You can implement any sound you want. Also, if you click unimplemented songs, it shows other stuff, I think. I don't know. And remove sound. So you could remove something. So for example, I'll just do the test one I just created. And then click delete. Now I no longer see test. And I no longer see test sound. So you could put multiple sounds in one category, by the way. So yeah, that's basically what you do. And as I said, custom CSS. Okay, guys, uh, today is the next day, actually, the day before Halloween. So I just want to add something. So if we go to user settings here, scroll down to the better Discord stuff, and then we could see custom CSS and themes. I want to get a little more into this. So, cus so custom CSS is basically the theme of your Discord. If you don't know what that means, it's perfectly okay. I'll throw a picture of an example up on the screen right now, like that and like that. So you could create something like that with custom CSS. And also a theme. But I will show you the difference with uh, custom CSS and themes. Custom CSS is the thing you want now. So if I have like a bunch of code, like for example, H1, uh, let's see, margin, right, 11. If we had that, and then that would be acceptable, if we X out, just like that. Now you see how the welcome to test thing looks weird. Not a lot of things in Discord are H1. So CSS. Oh yeah, custom CSS. Okay, so you, we get the point. We could do any CSS we want in here. But themes is like presets. So you could have presets of different CSS files. If you click open themes folder, you could insert a bunch of CSS files like these. So if you enter like blah CSS one style and main.css another style, you could switch one, you could switch between them here instead of always having to change the CSS here and just copy whatever you have, you would just be able to have many presets that you make, 
and like I turn that on. And now your Discord's out like that. And then you can turn another one on at any time. Now your Discord styles differently. So that's going to be the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to drop a like. Hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell. And I'll see you guys. Wait, before. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. So before we go, I need to talk to you about something. You want me to get more into themes and custom CSS? And uh, comment down below. And if you do want me to do it, like the video as well. Like the video and comment down below. And if you do want me to do it, I might just maybe leave a link to a CSS preset that you could customize your Discord with down below so if you want your discord cool comment down below and like well that's gonna be it for today's video that's a wrap that's a wrap yeah i know that's a wrap okay i'm weird should have known that by now okay that's a wrap for today's video and see you guys next video and bye